Well, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to another one about my stumps. World of Tanks console replays. Catching up with some old uh, replays from pre 6.0. And uh, I took my uh, Type 59.2 out for my first drive. Ended up on Hidden Village. And as I do many times, if you watch through my series or videos, I guess, um, the first game out in a tank. A lot of times I'll put the video up, whether it's a good game or a bad game, average game, whatever. Um, so this is that. This is, you know, my first game in this tank. Now, I've played the Type 59 quite a bit over the years, um, but I haven't played this tank. And a lot of people had the, uh, I remember what the, the King Dragon red version, and I just can't stand, like, I can't stand the Quillen or whatever it is, the WZ-101Q, the looks of it is stupid, I don't understand a big dragon thing on the front of the tank, I don't get it, um, so with that said, I didn't want the uh, King Dragon version of this tank, so when this one came out, I was like, hmm, pretty close to the same tank, what a horrible shot that was, that was complete stupidity, anyways, um, I was trying to see if it had a big enough gun to blast right through buildings, that's what I was doing, yeah, that's it, that's it, you never know, right? Anyways, um, so when this one came out in a regular version, I was like, yeah, I want it. I never had the type, the um, Chinese T, was it T-34-3 or whatever it is there. Um, I never got that one. Um, everyone says this plays a lot like that. It's basically a T Type 59 with a, uh, you know, a bigger gun on it. So, yeah, I like the looks of it. That's why, that's, my problem is... Wargaming knows this. They make a tank look hot and sexy, and I buy it. Probably like a lot of other people. The skin on this is really good. It's, it's a really good skin. It's a really good looking tank. Oh, could we get that one? Damn it. Negative. Just not quite in the right spot at the right time. How about that down there? How about the uh, Dreadnought? Yeah, we can do a 454 to him. That one went right through. Affirmative. And now he's 454 XP less than he was a minute ago. Hey, every little bit counts, right? Boys and girls. Ooh, the guy beside me is taking some pot shots, some spray and pray. Oh, there's one. Shit, shit, shit. Ah. Just dinged him. I don't know where they went. I was shooting into the side of a, uh, basically a T29, the more armored version, I guess. But still. Ooh, I just bounced something there, motherfucker. Motherfucker! I miss this. I've been playing the new version now. And I miss the, the sounds and the notifications when you shoot something. Um, it just... I don't know. The gameplay isn't horrible, but they need to put some of the aspects of the old version back in. Oop. Get one on that stockade. Nope. It's like we're shooting spitballs. The stockade. The IS-3A that's actually an autoloader. The previous IS-3As that this game has introduced to us, all non-autoloaders. 323 there. Yeah, I don't get that with the uh, stockade. They came out two years ago, whatever, with the IS-3A um, in the fire of the land there. And all the writing on it says, basically, that it's an autoloader. But it doesn't have an autoloader. And I'm like, that's awful weird, because it, they came out about the same time as the actual autoloader IS-3 long, long after it came out on PC. So I was thinking we were getting the autoloader version. Oh, That's gotta hurt, but we didn't do anything to him. Anyways, I was thinking we were getting the autoloader version, and nope, no autoloader version. So then they released the actual normal version, the, the tech, not tech tree, but the non, you know, whatever version, non-stockade version. I mean the non, um, not stockade, but the non motherland, fatherland, whatever, and still no autoloader. But it all says it in, in the description. Jump forward to the stockade, which is an auto IS3A. If you read the descriptions, they're exactly the same. 355 there into the uh, side of the Minuteman. Yeah, they say the exact same thing. It's the exact same cut and paste. So why did we get an IS3A that wasn't an autoloader two years ago? 
because Wargaming loves screwing over its player base. And they've never corrected it. You'd think they'd correct it, they don't care. But they know what they did, and there wasn't a big uproar in the forums and everything else, so hey, they let it let it slide. Fuck it. Screw it. If people aren't going to bitch and complain about it, screw it. And I never understood that. Ah! Right <laughs> Spraying right there and we miss. Like right now, the stockade was introduced maybe a year ago, I guess, probably as of right now. And that's my best guess. It's probably a year ago, close to it. And you would think people would be saying, well, why does it have the same description as the other ones? Track the uh, Minuteman. Come on, can I get one into him before he gets back? Oh, someone else tracks him. Thank you. And you put one into him here. 428. Drove straight through. Enemy is looking right at us. He wants a piece of me. Guess what, though? You're not going to get it. You're out of here. Which, which one finishes his game off? But, uh... It's sort of like with this update. They steal our crew skills. And something else I've learned about the update is... They, um... If you had crews in your garage that you hadn't, quote, used... 430 right there out of the, uh... Stockade. If you had crews, extra crews in your garage you hadn't used yet... They just suppose they just got rid of them, deleted them, and they said we took the crew XP and averaged it out on the rest of your crews. Well, hey Karen, if I have a crew that I never used, it had no XP on it. So that's just another bullshit lie. They didn't. If I have, they took ten crews out of my. Ooh, if they 424 into the Patriot. If they took ten of my crews that I hadn't used yet, that had no XP on them, and they just deleted them. But they tell you, oh, we, we spread that XP out on all your tanks. Well, I didn't have any XP on them, so basically what they're saying is... Ooh, 354 finishes him off. Basically what they're saying is, is um, we just took your crews and got rid of them for you. To unclutter your garage. I don't want my garage uncluttered, you fucking jabronis. I want the crews I fucking had. I had all my crews and I kept my crews for a reason. If I wanted to delete my crews sometime in the last couple of years, if I had 50 extra ones and I wanted to delete them, guess what? I had the option to fucking delete them. I obviously didn't want to delete them. But they just did it for me and gave me nothing for it. This fucking company is so shady. And we put up with it. We fucking put up with it. It's just like the IS-3A. We've had two IS-3As in this game over two years ago or whatever well over two years ago I think and they were never auto loaders like they should have been they just used the name IS-3A took a tank stuck that name on it so people would want it and then didn't give us the the auto loader version until a year and a half or two years later or whatever a year and a half later probably it's bullshit and pathetic but it is what it is it's war gaming 52,000 silver and 2400 XP with the multipliers, 2819 for damage dealt, 516 assist, 2200 blocked. Not too shabby on the blockage. The blockage. Not, especially not for the first game. That's really not a bad first game coming at the top of the list. I know we lost, but still. You know. 2800, almost 3000 damage and 2200 blocked for the first game in the tank. Yeah. It's not shabby. It's not a Karen, that's for sure. 16 shots fired, 12 hits, 8 penetrations. Hey, where'd all this information go in the new update? Where is it? Where's all this fucking information here? Where is it? It's all gone. Minute Man, 366 assist and 3 shots for 834. Took him out of the game. AMX, M445, 77 assist. LH, MTV, 73 assist, whatever the hell that was. Stockade, 2 shots for 753. Dreadnought, one shot for 454. And uh, Patriot, two shots for 778, took him out of the game. Where'd all my information go? Where'd all this information go on the new update? If you had been a player for a long time, you'd know back probably five years ago, we didn't have all this information. Go back in my videos way back, and you'll see what we had for the result screens. They were so minimal. Guess what? Our result screens are all minimal again. Screens are all minimal. There, they almost took like this game reverted it back to five years ago but updated the graphics and said here is a new game because we didn't have crew voices and we didn't have we weren't able to name our crews and all that stuff 
way back then. We can't do it now. We didn't have a store in the garage. You had to be logged into your account on your console to buy anything from the store. Then they changed that and added a store to the internet version, the website, which was awesome for some of us. Now that's gone. They took away all of our information on the results screens. Something we didn't have five years ago or whatever. Probably maybe five and a half, six. It started, they slowly added... Over the years, they added different updates, added more information until we've had this one for the last probably three years um, with a lot of information. Nope. No soup for you, players. Fuck you. We're taking it all away. Deal with it. Accept it. We're minimalizing the game, but we're going to give you some new tier 11 and 12 tanks. Because <laughs> that's great. It's pathetic. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me to write, wrong, or maybe on the battlefield, shoot the red ones, or orange ones, or blue ones, or.